my name is Kennedy Richardson. I'm from Cressy Commercial Real Estate, and today we are at Cornerstone Alliance here in Benton Harbor, Michigan, right next to City Center Lofts, which are going up right next to us. These lofts are also known as Benton Harbor Flats in the past. So today we have with us Rob Cleveland, who is the president of Cornerstone Alliance. Hi, Rob. Yeah, good, uh, good afternoon. Thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. So can you kind of tell us how this opportunity for this project came about? Yeah, so hopefully we weren't interrupted uh, too loudly. They're banging around right next door, yeah. and uh, which is awesome. Um, they've been going pretty heavy uh, for the last uh, month or so, but um, the, you know, the how the project came about was pretty interesting. So Cornerstone Alliance moved to the building we're at right next door uh, to this project uh, about three years ago. And that building has sat vacant for quite a while. It is on the most prominent intersection in Benton Harbor, at the corner of Pipestone and Main Street. And we made the decision to go ahead and purchase the building for two reasons. It either had to be demolished or it had to be redeveloped. And, um, and to be perfectly honest, it was definitely leaning toward the demolition piece. We didn't want that to happen. So we reached out to four to six developers and pitched the project, pitched the local incentives we knew were available, and then also the potential for state incentives. And uh, Cressy Commercial Real Estate was one of those companies. And uh, one by one, the developers kept falling off. And um, the constant through the whole process was that Chris Fielding kept saying, we're potentially interested, let's keep talking about it. And so we, we kept doing that. And the bottom line is we came down, I remember um, we went to South Bend for a meeting with, uh, with the team and we had lunch right before the 4th of July and it, it was a go or no go. If, if, the, if the meeting ended badly, we were gonna demolish the building. And um, all the credit in the world to Chris, who, who is, in my opinion, the, probably the lead reason, if not the only reason this project is going forward. Wow. Chris is from, uh, he worked in Benton Harbor, he has a knowledge of the area, mm -hmm. and um, Cressy Commercial Real Estate finally said, we believe in the project, and if we can make all these things happen, we can make the project go, and that's, that's all amazing. we needed. Amazing. And the great thing about it is that building, um, it's its a basement and two large stories. Mm -hmm. And when we initially had the Cressy guys in there, you could stand on the bottom floor and see all the way through the second roof wow. and see the, the outdoors. So this will be the first year in at least a decade that that building will be secure. So the roof's on and they're doing great work now. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, so what kind of effect do you picture the project to have on the immediate surrounding area and Benton Harbor as a whole? So again, this is the, the project is key because it's at the most prominent corner of Benton Harbor and, and there are a lot of things intersecting here. And so, so at the far end of Main Street, the western end closest to Lake Michigan, you have the Whirlpool North American headquarters, you have Whirlpool's uh, Refrigeration Tech Center, and you have a lot of development uh, down there. Clifford's Coffee, um, there, there's some real, real nice, unique development. And our goal has always been to bring more of that development along Main Street and into downtown Benton Harbor, mm -hmm. into the Arts District. You kind of have these development pockets. Mm -hmm. and our whole goal was to really start developing this block. It's why we purchased a building two doors down the other direction, we, we restored the facade um, because we believe, or I'm 100% certain that the development that Cressy Commercial Real Estate is doing will be the anchor development. There'll be commercial, there'll be uh, another dozen apartments. We have a building right next door that was redone with four apartments. Um, so it'll be the linchpin. Mm -hmm. And again, we, we expect further development to continue on Main Street. So having said that, can you picture any more projects happening? So fully expect more development to take place. We are in um, talks with uh, a business to potentially go in the uh, Farmers and Merchants Bank building. We have a really strong restaurant right next door to, to uh, the Lofts uh, Houndstooth, which is uh, attracting a lot of people, bringing people in from all over the region. Yep. Um, so, so there will absolutely be additional development projects. I, I do believe it'll help the Arts District as well. Again, if we can bring in another 12 to 30 people in these apartments, mm -hmm. um, you know, it'll, it'll dramatically increase the need for services. And, and so 
We couldn't be more excited. Yeah, I have not lived in the area long, um, but the two years I have lived in Michiana, every every other week I feel like you hear something about uh, Benton Harbor and how it's revitalizing. And I think that is greatly attributable to wonderful organizations like Cornerstone Alliance partnering with Pricey Commercial. So thank you so much for taking time out of your day to answer my questions and I'm sure a lot of uh, the public's questions. So I hope you all have a safe and healthy year and thanks for watching.